Welcome to installment, I think it's 127, Jim whines about the bankruptcy of the presidential nominating process. Let's review. Two Republican primaries and one caucus, and Trump's the nominee. One Democratic primary and two caucus, and Hillary's unstoppable. I do not think that we can overstate what's going on here. Donald Trump is on the path to become the Republican nominee for president. If the U.S. election, the presidential election, happened today, yes. who do you think would be the next president? Hillary Clinton. No Republican has ever won South Carolina and Iowa or New Hampshire, as Trump has, without going on to win the nomination. The former Secretary of State is the nominee. Is this any way to run a railroad? And by the way, this has nothing to do with the individuals who are benefiting. Let's look at the Democratic side. A caucus in Iowa, fewer than 16% of eligible voters bothered to turn out, and raw vote totals were never released. Then Democrats in Nevada on Saturday, 80,000 people vote. That's roughly how many live in Lawrence, Massachusetts. So Hillary Clinton is crushed in New Hampshire, wins by a whisker in Iowa, by five points in Nevada, and she's the putative nominee? And Donald Trump has won two states, lost one, and he's unstoppable too. Here's one more cut so I can aggravate myself even more. States with seven to eight million people have voted so far. It's a little more than 2% of the population in the United States. People in not one of the 29 largest states have cast a single vote, yet the odds for Sanders, Rubio, and Cruz, we're told, are minimal at best. Listen, I know you're sick of me complaining about the process to pick a president. Well, I'm sick of the shortchanging of democracy in that process. Be forewarned. Unless and until it is fixed, the whining has just begun. You with me? Or is it much ado about not much? Email us, tweet us, share your thoughts.